Welcome back to Treasure Hunting with Jeepers, guys, and today we're going to be responding to more hate comments. We are completely stuck inside because the temperatures are like negative 10 or something like that. It's ridiculously cold. There are no storage units going off in our area this week at all. So instead of doing nothing, I figure we can at least please a few people. There's always a lot of people that love these hate videos. But before we get into it, I do want to start every single video with a positive comment from the video before. So make sure you leave comments on the video down here so we can put yours in the next video. But let's Spot, pop one up right here. Thank you so much for watching the videos. Not just you, but everyone else too. Thank you so much. Even the haters, thank you guys too for your negative comments. I do appreciate that as well. But without further ado, let's get into it. Let's start with this guy, ready? You guys are so retarded. Look at that spelling. They spelled it with two T's. Who's retarded? But anyway, that makeup was for you. Are you a transgender weirdo? Okay. There's so many things we gotta break down about this sentence. One, use the whole word, not the letters. That just looks stupid. Two, punctuation, have you heard of it? Most of us hear about this in the early stages of elementary school. If you haven't heard about it, look up on it and it'll make your sentence make a lot more sense. And three, just don't call somebody stupid when you can't spell, when you can't form a sentence, and when you cannot do anything besides exist. Get a load of this guy. How are you in college? Well, usually at the end of high school, you start applying and what happens is they send you a letter of acceptance and that's how you get into it, just in case you didn't know. It also comes with some other things, you know, essays, SATs, all those things, but that's usually how you got into college and that was the case for me. You are definitely, you are definitely are the spectrum. I, I, I don't even know how to respond to that part of it because I have no idea what he's trying to say again. Somebody let me know. Clueless and annoying. Why'd you put a comma down there? Like clueless and annoying, no, just no. First of all, your sentence structure is pitiful. Second, I, I don't even know what you're trying to say. Usually I can kind of decipher this in the English, but you are definitely are the spectrum. I don't, I don't know how to respond. I really don't, but you are an idiot. Maybe try reading a dictionary. You can even get them at the Dollar Tree nowadays. It will definitely help you out a lot. This one we just keep getting. I feel like no matter how much I explain, it just, it, never clicks with these morons ready this guy is pretty clueless about brand i just i don't know how many times i can explain this and how many different ways i can explain it i guess i thought it was pretty simple it seems like elementary level comprehension skill to me but apparently not when we ask questions on youtube it is to drive interactions that is the only purpose of it. We want to drive interactions from people. If I say I don't know what it is, people answer the questions or they get triggered like you. Either way, they're interacting. This isn't new. I feel like I've said this so many times, but it just, it never clicks. We'll give this guy a little bit of credit, all right? Because he actually threw an insult my way that I haven't heard yet. So you know what? You get a little bit of a round of applause. The kid from Bad Santa. So usually I get Jonah Hill, I get Fat Eminem, I get Bobby Hill, you know, those are getting repetitive. This guy took the time to actually come up with something new. So, you know what? Congratulations to you. The kid from Bad Santa grew up and eats out of the dumpster. Actually, I mean, I really don't know more. Like I said, if you actually listen again, but that does take elementary level comprehension skills. The reason we go dumpster diving is it only people in need. And I say it multiple times, but apparently again, it just never clicks because you're not actually capable of thought, nor are you capable of processing information at an elementary level school level. Every time we do one of these videos, we have to include one of these guys because they are just my favorite comment. First, Lord, I ate the cookies. Oh well, yeah, with that joke, blah, 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 you're old. But the part that I love responding to always is, get a real job, you bums. I just, can somebody please, like I always ask, just one person define what a real job is. I know in your mind the only thing a real job is, I'm gonna go to sleep when somebody else tells me to, I'm gonna wake up when somebody else tells me I have to, I'm gonna go to this place I don't want to that I will not enjoy and I'll be miserable at until this person tells me I'm allowed to go home for an extremely low rate wage. That's your idea of real job. And let me tell you, if that's what you're happy doing, more power to you, go ahead. I am not, I prefer to get up when I want to, go to sleep when I want to, and do what I want in between. That's just me personally. If you don't wanna do that, that's you, that's your choice. If you're happy doing that, then go ahead, do it. I'm not saying anything about you, but that's me. I'm not gonna do it. This is a real job. It's something we do, you perform an action, you perform a product, and you get paid in return for it. That's a job to most people. I don't know what the definition of job is to you, buddy. Before I read this guy's comments, for all the haters out there, this is how you do it. If you're gonna insult me or insult us over and over again, make sure you do it in separate comments. That's the best way to help us. So, you know, go to every video, dislike them all, leave negative comments to all of them. The more comments you leave, the more it helps. So, take advice from Tim Bates here. 
and go leave negative comments the way he does first. You're a piece of fucking no. Oh, wow, that's so painful. Nothing I haven't heard before. Kind of sad you're complaining. He, at least he kind of used the right your there. I mean, he forgot the apostrophe, but at least he did use the right your, so give him credit. Complaining about buying people's personal possessions and unhappy it's not good enough. Well, first of all, those possessions are for auction because people cannot come up with the money to pay the bills. That's not anyone's fault with that person. Yes, sometimes life gets you, but guess what? Life has to go on for everybody else. An emergency on your side does not constitute an emergency for everybody else. It's unfortunate, but it's the way the world works. And we're not complaining. I'm just simply stating it's not what I was hoping would be in there. And if I, you know, you buy it because you hope X, Y, or Z is going to be in there. Sometimes it's not in there and you spent your money on something and didn't get what you want. It's not really like complicated, I don't think. Maybe for you, but for the majority of us who are capable of thought, not so much. Before I get into this guy, you gotta give him credit. Usually our haters will pop in or say something douchey and leave. This guy, he has been begging for attention for a long time. I mean, look at all the comments. You can search his name. He leaves a lot of comments. He has been very, very desperate for attention. So before he ends up hurting himself, let's go ahead and give him that attention he so desperately seeks. This clown is nothing but a blowhard braggart who has nothing but willing to call everyone else a moron or idiot. And you're a grown man attempting to sound like a Billy Bad with Mickey Mouse as your picture, so I think you should address your own problems first. Just saying. He makes a video to teach people how to buy lockers. Can you guys believe this? Somebody, one of our haters, actually made a factual statement. This does not happen very often, so you know what? Give this douche a round of applause. Congratulations, Mickey. Yeah, he had an expert. Three months buying. And no, no one ever claimed to be an expert, but then again, facts probably aren't something you rely too much on. You don't seem that intelligent there, Mickey. Isn't it? But he wants to buy and watching him cracks ass up. Like, cracks who up? I, I just, for some reason, I have an image of this guy as like one of those big, like, douchebags that just lift a lot of weights and walk around in tank tops. Like, this is my image of him. They all walk around like, bruh, this, this dude don't know what he doing, bruh. He's like, you just come off as so highly uneducated that it actually hurts my head a little bit. Just saying. He is how not to buy a locker. Fathead, my new name is Pooper Scooper. Pooper Scooper. Imagine if you were so old and boring that the best insult you come up with was Pooper Scooper. Gosh, your life would suck. It's more of a moron than anyone. Blah, blah, blah. Just keep talking trash. My question to you is, as many times as we said that these comments only benefit us, you continue to come back time after time again. So whether you want to admit it or not, you have to be a fan. There's either there's only one or two options. You're either a secret fan, or two, you're just a complete utter moron and have the, like the technological expertise of a doorknob. I don't know which one it is. Kind of leaning more towards B because you really don't seem that intelligent. You actually do seem like an uneducated moron. But hey, I'm sure you'll be here in this video to let me know. So put it down there. This guy, he was pretty mad. So let me read this all the way through, or you know, partially the way through, and we'll make fun of him. Oh, you may turn off and call. I actually responded to him extremely sarcastically because you know that's how you trigger these idiots to keep coming back. But it worked flawlessly, by the way. You may turn off and cut off. Definitely enjoying the sarcasm when you're obviously not the brightest crown. Well, unfortunately for you, what you don't realize is you were blatantly used as a pawn, yet you're too idiotic to grasp that fact. I say stuff for the sole purpose of getting people like you mad. Normal people will say, oh, he said cut on instead of turn on. That's just how he says it. Angry, miserable people now. Let me tell you, if you say something different than them, they will come after you. Just like this, that's exactly why I do it. And that's exactly why I say that's so weird. That's exactly why I do it. And that's exactly why you're here. Pretty clueless for being a storage hunter. Eh, maybe sometimes with brands, but a lot of times I will say it for the sole purpose of getting you to say this. Look, look at this long thing you're writing back. You came back to respond to me multiple times. I got three or four interactions out of you being so angry. I got exactly what I wanted. You're just too clueless to realize it. You don't know what almost anything is. Couldn't pronounce Armani. Again, you think I just say that? You think I'm really like I can't spell five letter words? It's just to trigger people like you because you keep coming back. Like, why does it bother you if somebody else can't say a word unless you're just miserable? My goal is to get you to come back, and I did it again and again and again and again and again. Like, five times you came by, so it definitely worked. You didn't know what phones were. You call it Jordan's Nikes. Well, I mean, contrary to popular belief, you can still look it up. Jordan is still owned by Nike. Everyone likes to say it grants into their own company, but Jordans are still owned by Nikes, believe it or not. That's facts. Facts don't care about your feelings. I'm not Ben Shapiro, but I like that phrase. <laughs> You never heard of Stacey Adams, you're pretty much a dumb. Maybe I have, maybe I just said it once again just to get you this mad. Look how mad you are, like look how mad you are over a complete stranger you don't even know. 
That's pitiful, it really is. Now, I don't know exactly what this guy was attempting to say, but what he did manage to do was insult my poor firearm. That's his short and his gun is too dumb. Oh, it's all right, you're not dumb. Contrary to popular belief, you're actually a really good guy and you don't do no harm. Don't let the haters get to you, all right? I don't know why, like, talking trash about me is one thing, but when you're gonna start talking about my guns, it's personal. I don't know why you decided to call it out, but I'm coming after you now. This guy, let's get it, ready? Alameo, so are you and your lame videos. Look at it, 106 dislikes. <gasps> Not 106 <laughs> dislikes, no, but you did happen to, you know, ignore the thousand plus likes, but that's just you. And only a thousand people watching. Really? I could have swore my views say almost 7 million now, but then again, maybe elementary level math isn't your thing either, buddy. All you say is that it might be this and it might be that. Get a real job, fool. My favorite. I didn't even realize I included two real job ones in there, but guess what? This is a real job. It's something you do in return for money, and I guarantee you that it's making a lot more than what your miserable self is making right now. Bet. Here we go again. I didn't even realize this. This was not on purpose, by the way. I do like responding to these, but this was not on purpose. Get a real job, Oscar. Oh, I give you a little bit of credit, though. I haven't heard Oscar yet, but that, that was pretty creative. So give you like two out of ten. It wasn't bad. Then I responded back to him. Keep that miserable life for yourself. I enjoy being happy. Look here. Don't answer me now. I'm a racist garbage picker. Please, <laughs> somebody tell me what I ever done to be considered racist. Like. I know, trust me, I get it, it's 2019, I live right by DC, and I mean, if you like say hi in the wrong tone on a pitchfork, someone will accuse you of being a racist bigot, I get that, but just can somebody please give me like a hint on what I ever did to be considered racist by this rejected, like, slow woman? I just, I don't know, I don't get it, I don't know where they get their facts from, but obviously, they're morons. All right, guys, that's all I got for you this time. We only did the hate video like four or five days ago, so we didn't have as many hate comments to respond to yet. So haters, I mean, come on. You gotta step your game up. Keep hating. Keep leaving those negative comments and those dislikes. I need your hate, too. It fuels me. It helps me. I don't know. I just like making these videos. I'm not, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. These are just fun to make, and a lot of people seem to enjoy them, and it always gives us an option for when we're stuck in the house like this and we can't leave. We got something to do and something really fun to do. So that's going to be it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you leave it a big, fat thumbs up. And if you're not already, hit that subscribe button for awesome treasure hunting and these kind of crazy videos all the time. If you do want to follow us on our social media, links will be on screen. Just click links down in the description below. Make sure you follow us on whatever you have. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, peace out.